Have you ever looked at a clock and thought about time as a straight line, always moving forward? What if I told you that this simple line might be an illusion? A new, mind-bending theory is shaking the very foundations of physics. It comes from the University of Alaska Fairbanks, where a researcher has proposed something truly radical. The idea is that time doesn't just have one dimension, it has three. Imagine not just a future and a past, but a whole landscape of temporal possibilities. This isn't just a philosophical musing, it's a serious scientific proposal, published and ready for debate, that asks us to reconsider everything we thought we knew about the universe. For over a century, since the days of Albert Einstein, we've lived with the concept of space-time. It's a beautiful, elegant idea that weaves together one dimension of time with the three dimensions of space, up-down, left-right, and forward-backward. In this model, Time is the steady river that carries everything along, while space provides the landscape. Every major discovery in modern physics, from the bending of starlight by gravity to the existence of black holes, has been built upon this four-dimensional framework. It has served us well, becoming the accepted language we use to describe the cosmos. But what if this language is incomplete? What if we've been focusing on the wrong element all along? The new theory, proposed by associate research professor Gunther Kletechka, turns this entire picture upside down. It suggests that time is the fundamental canvas of our universe, not just a single thread within it. In this view, time itself possesses three dimensions, creating a complex, multi-layered temporal reality. Space, with its familiar three dimensions, is no longer a primary component. Instead, it emerges as a secondary effect, a consequence of this more fundamental three-dimensional time. Think of it this way. If the universe is a painting we've always assumed space was the canvas. This theory suggests that time is the real canvas and space is merely the paint applied to it. This idea is, to put it mildly, difficult to visualize. Our brains are wired to perceive time as a linear progression of moments, from yesterday to today to tomorrow. How could time have depth or width or height? The concept challenges our most intuitive understanding of existence. Yet, in the strange world of theoretical physics, our everyday intuition is often the first thing we must leave behind. Exploring such a radical departure from established models is precisely how science makes its greatest leaps forward. It forces us to ask deeper questions and look for evidence in places no one has thought to look before, pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. So, how does this new model work? In the standard view of space-time, events are located by four coordinates, three for space and one for time. It's like giving an address for a meeting that includes the building, the floor, the room, and the exact time. This fusion of space and time was Einstein's great insight, allowing him to describe how gravity is not a force, but a curvature in the fabric of space-time itself. Massive objects like stars and planets create dips and warps in this fabric, and other objects follow these curves, which we perceive as the pull of gravity. It is a powerful and well-tested concept that has been the bedrock of cosmology. But Gunther Klitschka's theory dares to reimagine this fundamental structure. He proposes a six-dimensional framework, three dimensions for time and three for space. However, in his model, the three dimensions of time are the primary ones. They set the stage for everything else. The three dimensions of space that we experience are, in his words, a secondary byproduct. This is a profound shift in perspective. It implies that the very existence of distance and direction, the up-down left and right of our world, is dependent on the more intricate and foundational nature of time. It's as if the flow of time itself creates the arena in which space can exist. To make this idea more than just a fascinating thought experiment, it needs a mathematical backbone. And it has one. Kletechka has developed a formula within this six-dimensional model that isn't just speculative, it makes concrete, testable predictions. This is a crucial step for any new theory hoping to gain traction in the scientific community. Without a mathematical framework that can be tested against real-world observations, even the most brilliant idea remains in the realm of science fiction. The mathematics provide the bridge between a wild concept and a plausible description of reality, giving other scientists the tools to either verify or falsify the claim. Remarkably, this new mathematical framework has already shown some surprising success. When applied to the world of subatomic particles, the theory is reportedly able to reproduce known physical properties, for instance, it can predict the masses of fundamental particles like electrons, muons, and even the quarks that make up protons and neutrons. This is no small feat. 
the masses of these particles are fundamental constants of our universe, and any theory that can derive them from its own principles commands attention. It suggests that this strange new way of looking at time and space might have a deep connection to the underlying rules of the cosmos. If this theory proves to be correct, its impact would be nothing short of revolutionary. It could fundamentally change our understanding of the universe's most basic structure. For decades, physicists have been struggling with one of the biggest challenges in all of science, unifying quantum mechanics and gravity. These are the two great pillars of modern physics. Quantum mechanics perfectly describes the world of the very small, particles, atoms, and forces, while Einstein's theory of general relativity perfectly describes the world of the very large, planets, stars, and galaxies. The problem is, these two theories don't play well together. They speak different mathematical languages and seem incompatible. A new perspective on the nature of time and space could provide the breakthrough that scientists have been searching for. By redefining the fundamental stage on which reality plays out, the theory of three-dimensional time might offer a new path toward a theory of everything. Such a theory would unite all the fundamental forces of nature into a single, elegant framework, a goal that has been the holy grail of physics for nearly a century. If time is more complex than we thought, perhaps it holds the secret to resolving the conflict between the quantum realm and the cosmic scale, showing them to be two sides of the same, time-based coin. Beyond the grand quest for a unified theory, this idea could also reshape how we think about cosmic mysteries like the Big Bang and black holes. Was the Big Bang not just an explosion in space, but an event rooted in the very structure of three-dimensional time? What happens inside a black hole, where space-time is thought to be so warped that time and space switch roles? A multi-dimensional time could offer entirely new explanations for these extreme phenomena. It opens up a new toolbox for cosmologists, allowing them to build models of the universe that were previously unimaginable, potentially solving paradoxes that have stumped scientists for generations. Of course, this is all still theoretical. The theory is new, and it will need to undergo years of intense scrutiny, peer review, and experimental testing before it can be considered a viable alternative to the standard model. Many radical ideas in physics have come and gone. But the beauty of science is that it encourages this kind of bold thinking. Even if it ultimately proves to be incorrect, Kletechka's theory serves a vital purpose. It pushes the boundaries of a field that can sometimes become stuck in established ways of thinking, inspiring new questions and encouraging other researchers to explore unconventional avenues in our collective quest to understand the universe. So, what does the idea of three-dimensional time mean for you and me here on Earth? On a practical, day-to-day -day level, probably not much will change. Your watch will still tick forward, the sun will still rise and set, and we will all continue to experience time as a relentless one-way arrow. The deep structure of reality, whether it's one-dimensional or three-dimensional time, operates on a level far removed from our human perception. We are embedded within this structure, like fish in water unable to easily perceive the medium that surrounds and defines us. Our senses have evolved to navigate our immediate environment, not to directly perceive the fundamental fabric of the cosmos. However, the pursuit of this knowledge is a deeply human endeavor. Understanding our place in the universe is one of the oldest and most profound drivers of our species. The questions this theory raises, what is time? Where does space come from? Are continuations of a conversation that began with our earliest ancestors looking up at the night sky. The fact that we can even conceive of such ideas, and then build mathematical tools to test them, is a testament to the power of human curiosity and intellect. It reminds us that the universe is far more strange and far more wonderful than we can possibly imagine. The most exciting aspect of this theory is that it is testable. It's not just a philosophical proposition. The claim that its mathematical framework can predict particle masses, can be rigorously checked by other physicists around the world. Further predictions could be developed that might be tested with particle accelerators or cosmological observations. This is the hallmark of good science. A theory must make predictions about the world that can be verified or proven false. The journey to test this idea will be a fascinating one, involving brilliant minds from across the globe collaborating and competing to uncover the truth. And now, the question goes to you. What do you think about the idea of three-dimensional time? Does it excite you? Does it seem too strange to be true? Could a theory like this really change our understanding of everything or is it just a temporary curiosity? Science is not just something that happens in a lab. 
it's a conversation that we can all be a part of. Your perspective matters because these big ideas belong to all of us. Let us know your thoughts. The universe is waiting for our next question. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the cosmos.